Hey again, guys. Uh, <clears throat> Brandon here again. Uh, I got some really good responses of people who wanted to hear a little bit more of my story from the first video that I posted. So the one that you guys saw um, about uh, my awakening and a lot of the magical experiences that I had with it, that was my first video. So this would be number two. So I'm um, really happy that some people um, found it interesting enough to want to hear some more. So this next part is a little bit more detail about some of the kind of uh, experiences that I've had with multidimensional or interdimensional beings um, that I've wanted to tell this for a long time, but I never really felt uh, how to, you know, uh, I, I never really knew the best approach to utilize in order to get the information out there and tell the story. So matter of fact, when some of these things have happened to me in the past, I would uh, just look up forums just to kind of try to find other people with similar experiences because it was just kind of, uh, you don't hear a whole lot about it. Um, but um, anyway, so ever since my childhood, I have had some really interesting experiences with uh, beings from other dimensions or other worlds that... Um, it was scary in the beginning. Um, you know, it would happen at nighttime and uh, <clears throat> almost all the time or early in the morning. And then I just, it started to happen so frequently that I would just, I just got used to it. And then instead of it being uh, something that I was afraid of, it was more something that just annoyed me. But let me start with a, a, a couple experiences that happened a few years ago. Um, so, um, back in, this would have been about June, maybe July at the latest of 2016, Tell, starting with this story just because it was the one that weirded me out enough to really start delving into getting more information, but <clears throat> we just uh, m moved into this little house in a rural town, um, you know, in northern Utah, and, um, woke up in the middle of the night in our relatively new bedroom and there's this little golem type creature hunched over looking at my wife and it freaked me out uh you know because it's the first thing that i see when i wake up so i jump up and i'm like yelling at it hey 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 kind of swatting at it too and it looked back at me and just kind of looked surprised that I knew it was there and that I could see it. And it, literally, if it, had, if it had stood up straight, it would have only been maybe three and a half, four feet tall. And really d did resemble kind of golem. But I never learned what it was. But um, it just seemed startled that I was aware of it being there. And then it just kind of faded, just disappeared. Um, but it freaked me out. And so I kind of started looking around on online for forums or other people who'd seen something like that and came across some really ancient or not ancient but like you know four or five hundred year old paintings of you know demons kind of in that same position over people and whatnot but uh i just figure it was some sort of multi-dimensional being and i'd had another one where you know woke up in the morning and there's something kind of sniffing around on my, like a dog would, you know, sniffing around on my head and my ear and my neck. And um, it it walked on two legs, had a tail, and had whiskers, but no eyes. You know, had a mouth and a snout, kind of like a dog, but it didn't have eyes. And it only walked on two legs and had a tail. Didn't seem to really have fur, maybe a really light fur on its skin, but... That was kind of, didn't, you know, I, I don't know what that was. It wasn't malevolent by any means, but just a uh, some interesting being that came through a crack in, you know, its dimension or whatever and was just curious about me or sniffing around on me or maybe somebody had sent it um, to gather information. I don't know. But <clears throat> those are just a couple of many, many, many experiences that I've had over the past many years, you know, uh, 30-ish years. Um, another one that I'd share was really, really fascinating, and it's not my experience. And this, uh, it's my it's my, uh, my wife's back when, in that same house, and this had only been uh, 
last year about this time, maybe, uh, maybe May, no, it wouldn't have been May, it would have been between now and March of last year, so almost exactly a year ago, I was working night shifts um, at a job, that, and, and it took me about, you know, uh, an hour and 15 minutes or so to get back from work, so I got home one morning, it was like uh, probably around, you know, 7.15, 7.30 in the morning, and uh, I get home, and I walk in the front door, and that's the living room to the house, and I see my wife lying on the floor, um, and I freaked, obviously, who wouldn't, you know, so I run up to her, I'm like, are you okay, are you okay, and she took her a while to wake up, and when she woke up, she had the most interesting story to tell me, so she was upstairs in our bedroom, and she was just awake, watching YouTube videos, or re just doing something, and she saw a light coming from downstairs, and so she went down to investigate, and she goes down the stairs, and there was a, like, nine-foot-tall being. We had vaulted ceilings at that house. They were, like, 11 feet, and she said that its head almost touched the ceiling, and it was a being with, like, a, you know, uh, dressed in, like, a white robe, but it, it was too bright for her, her to even look at it. Like, she couldn't see features or anything. Its skin was uh, just too bright to even be able to... Uh, see and it, it told her some interesting things that I can't remember at this time I'd have to ask her again but it was obviously things to do with you know her mission and her uh, role and things that she had to do and uh, things that uh, we had to do with our children and whatnot but anyway <clears throat> that's her experience but I just remember freaking out that I'd seen her laying on the floor when I'd first come home and um, her telling me that story because uh, I guess it took so much energy from her to have this communication and interaction with this being that when it left, she was she she, it, it, she just passed out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was that's just a, another really interesting experience um, of things that have happened in you know not directly in my life, but someone that I care deeply about their life. So. Um, and, you know, recently I've had a lot m more in, uh, positive ones. <laughs> um, it was probably about a month ago. I um, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had my this, this lava lamp on. So it casts, uh, you know, a blue light that, um, uh, you know, lights up the whole room but basically but it's just a really dim light and I look over and there's a something poking up about six inches tall on the sheet uh, under the sheet on my bed and so I for some reason instinctively just was like a child <laughs> and wanting to play with it so I jump up and I'm like ah and it, and it and it runs to the bottom of the bed and then just kind of sinks in and I'm sitting here like on my hands and knees looking around for it and I don't know why I so instinctively went into this uh this mode it, it was just natural like I didn't think about it or anything but I was just playing with this this thing and then it like poked up through the sheet like right between my hands and kind of freaked me out a little bit and I just kind of started laughing and and uh went back to sleep like it was nothing it was just a really interesting and odd experience but uh um and then uh, just about three or four nights ago, there was a fairy sitting on my knee because I was laying down with my my you know foot on the bed, so my knee was up, and I felt it like crawl up my leg and just sit on my knee, and was just hanging out there. So I had a lot of really fun and interesting, even some scary experiences with interdimensional and multidimensional beings, and figured I'd share some of those with you, and maybe you guys have some experiences that you can. Tell, tell me about or maybe know a little bit more about some of these experiences and what these beings are and where they're from that you could even share with me. Love to hear from you guys. So, um, you know, my, you can uh, see my email address in the, in the uh, description and whatnot. So um, feel free to email me with your stories or if you want to connect or whatnot. I'd love to connect with, with you guys. So anyway, um, hope you guys have had a great weekend it's sunday evening now and uh but yeah um would love to hear from you guys and if you have any wisdom that you can share with me then would love to to hear it so thanks again and have a wonderful week
Uh, love and light to all of you. Thank you. Bye.